Hey guys, guess where we are? Yeah, we're back home in Melbourne again. And we got lucky again, guys. It's 20 Celsius on our first day back from Townsville. So nice. Mm. Today I'm going to be a chicken and um, skip my swim. But Kim says, no, not me. I'm not skipping it. There she is. She just dipped in. Yeah. Basically, the more time I spend in Queensland, the less I want to swim here in winter. That's what happens, guys. It's called getting uh, uh, spoiled. Yeah. Kim's doing some foot soaking too, using some natural salts and uh, enjoying her day here at the beach again in Melbourne where we have an endless stream of dog walkers. Everyone's rugged up with those winter puffer jackets, right? Unreal. Yeah. Dog after dog after dog. Grrr. Kim's enjoying the the cold water. She missed it. Yeah, I miss uh, Melbourne whenever we're away, even though it's cold. Chicken, chicken, chicken. <laughs> yeah, I'm a chicken today. I'll be just like the Queenslanders. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much it. It's really crazy, though. Not only would... Um, they, they're not able to swim here today. They can't even swim up in their own beaches um, today. Um, almost everyone we swam with in Cairns and in um, Townsville was a backpacker. There was the odd one, odd one out who was a local. They all said it's too cold. What? <laughs> this is cold here. Not up there. It's unreal, man. Even in Darwin. Even in Darwin. We um, met a couple of people that said it's too cold. When it was 32, 33. What the heck's going on, guys? Are we so desensitized? Anyhow, I can understand in Darwin you got got... Um, the stingers and the crocs, so fair enough. It's pretty risky. Even though the chances are extremely low in winter. Beautiful. It's going to be sunset in one hour. It gets dark very, very early. In winter, 5 o'clock, between 5 and 5.30, it's dark. So right now it's about 4. And um, we had a great day. Okay guys, that's all for today. Just a short one. For our return again, back to... The most livable city in the world still, even though it's cold. It's all relative. 
on what is cold, right? Um, for a lot of people, uh, the world is very narrow. They haven't expanded their their um, experience. They haven't been to Russia or to Sweden or Scotland or to uh, uh, Mongolia to know what true cold really is. This is like heaven. Melbourne is like heaven. A very warm heaven in comparison. Oh my gosh. What a hero you are, Bebe. I yeah. was t I was telling them that uh, you, re you really missed your cold water swim. I did. So, how was it? It was perfect. Really? Uh-huh. Nice. It was perfect. I chickened out today. This, this is the first time I've ever chickened out. So... You missed it. I missed out, yeah. You would feel fantastic. Yeah. Feel like a million bucks. There you go, guys. Did you tell them I did my soap too? Yeah, I told them about your salts. I have salt water, and then I have this so-called soak your feet. Mm -hmm. I got it at TK Maxx. It's TJ Maxx in America, and it's a magnesium soak. So mm. along with the salt water, I brought my bucket. And I soak my feet. It's got peppermint, eucalyptus, and tea tree. Nice. And it's great to relax the essential. It's got 100% natural essential oils. Cool. So it's really good. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you from the next one. Bye-bye, Neil. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you again soon.